Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the text animator fill color, which is a really easy way if you just wanna add a nice color fill effect to your text layers. First, I'll add a text layer. I'll come up to the top toolbar, click on T for the horizontal type tool. I'll click in my composition and I'm just gonna type out my name. I'll select all, command A. I'm gonna to go to the properties panel I'm gonna change the font size to let's say 200. The font that I'm using is called Landrina Solid. I'll click on the selection tool, then go to the align panel and align my text to the center. Next, add a text animator. To do so, select the text layer in the layers panel. If you are using the latest version of After Effects, in the properties panel, if you look at the very bottom, you will see a text animation section. You can just click on the button, plus add animator, and then you can choose fill color RGB. In the original way to add a text animator, select the text layer, twirl it open, look for animate in the far right, click on the little arrow, go down to fill color, RGB. I'm gonna change this default red fill color to the color that I want to fill in the text from the original orange color. So I can click on the color swatch and pick a new color, or I can use the eyedropper tool and just select a new color. I'll come over here to my CC libraries and pick this yellow. And if I scrub the CTI, you'll see there's no animation yet. To add the animation, we're gonna twirl open range selector. I'll click on the stopwatch for end. I'm gonna change this from 100% to 0%. Is I want it to start at the original color and I want it to fill in to this yellow fill color. So I'm gonna move the CTI forward I'll press shift command and tap the right arrow three times. So I'll go 30 frames forward. Now I'm gonna change the end property from 0% to 100%. If I drag the CTI back to the beginning and tap the space bar, we just animated on the fill color. And to animate this off, I'm gonna to go to the last keyframe. I'll move forward 30 frames again. So shift command or shift control if you're on Windows, right arrow, one, two, three to go 30 frames. I'm gonna go another 30 frames, one, two, three. And now I'm gonna click on this little diamond next to the end property to add a keyframe. I'll go forward 30 more frames, shift command or shift control, right, two, three. And then I'm gonna change the end property from 100% down to zero to go back to the original orange. I bring the playhead of the CTI back to the beginning, tap the space bar, color fill animates on, holds for a little while at the new color. Now it's gonna animate off back to the original orange color. There are endless ways for you to customize the text animator. I recommend that you twirl open advance and just explore the different properties. I'm gonna change the randomized order it's currently set to off. I'm gonna change this to on just to get a more interesting animation. Then I'm gonna come up here to where it says animator one. I'll go over to where it says add, click on the arrow, go to selector, and I'm gonna change this to wiggly just so I can get some random different hues into my animation. And that is the text animator, fill color, RGB, and Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.